Hi, I'm Jason Brand, and I'm nine years old, and I'm building a two um, a water rocket out of four two-liter soda or soft drink bottles. First, you start off with a basic bottle. You remove the label glue with minimal turpentine and cut off this cap ring. When uh, you end up cutting off, uh, cutting off this little ridge here, end up with that. And throw that away. Um, so you end up with one of these. As you can see, uh, they don't really fit together properly. That's why you need to shrink, shrink it. You do this by filling a saucepan or pot with about three centimeters of water, heat it to seventy-five degrees, and hold it flat up against the base for about three seconds and you test fit it and this is our first one and it didn't really go too well it was a little bit uh, yeah. too much shrinkage so how did you measure the temperature uh, we used a meat thermometer that we bought for about five dollars okay so once once you've done that you can sand the uh, you can get your shrinked one Put it against yeah, shrink to one. <laughs> you can you can get it against the uh, old frying pan or saucepan. So you heat the frying pan without any water. Yep, and you press on, it press on it. the stove, but not red hot. Just yeah. starting to get hot. You press it against the base and start to cool. You up. spin it right on the hot fry pan, and the bottom starts to cool, cool over and to, smooths like, over, over, folds over just a little bit. Now make sure you're not going to use that fry pan or pot again for any food because it will leave layers of plastic, little layers of plastic on there. So, uh, once you've done that, you can use sealant. We're using Silver Flex 11FC. It's, the, it's what we found to be the best sealant. Now, you, what you can use is a... Once you've got it down, you can... Okay, so... You get this and you put it on the inside of the one that you haven't uh, put in the hot water. So you put a really three centimetre layer inside that. And then you get a barbecue skewer. And, and you can... smooth it around so it's pretty thick and smooth, yeah. right? You do that to the other bowl. So you sand it first. Yep, and then you... Sand the outside of that and the inside of the other one. Give it something to grip. So this one we've made a little bit shorter in the fry pan. You can just see that little bit of shrinkage there. Yeah. And you would sand the outside of that one. Yeah. And again, so you layer that to about three centimeters, so it's fairly thick. And then you push them together. And uh, you leave it for a day to the glue to cure. But eventually, you'll get something like yeah, you, this. You'll get a little bit of. Uh, You'll get goo on the, on the yeah. outside and a little bit on the inside that's thicker than what you want, but you can only take the goo on the outside off. Yeah. So that's it's, now cured after 24 hours, and you can just peel it off and make it very smooth. Let's have a close is, look at that. Oh, yeah, nice and smooth. Yeah, it's a little hard to get off, but once you get it started, it's... So when we've got two of these bottles, show me the other one over there. Yeah. We've made two of these, and so that's a lot smoother. You've already peeled that one. Yep. And you're now going to um, um, have to join them together. With tornado couplings. That you okay. Can... Tornado couplings are little couplings where uh, you can uh, put coloured water in and spin them around and it looks like a tornado and the bottles drain one into the other. Well, in this case, they're going to be held together. So we've got the best part of about, let's see, it's not going to be two litres anymore. It's going to be more than... It's going to be a little less than... It's probably eight. about three and a quarter litres. Yeah. Or maybe three and a half litres of capacity at the top and another three and a half at the bottom joined together. But you're not going to fill it all with water, are you? What are you going to fill it with? About a third of water, one third of the full capacity. And the rest is going to be filled with compressed air. Compressed air, so we'll have to sort that out on another video and show you how we're going to couple it up and do it. But what else do we need to put on here? Uh, release mechanism, yeah. one-way valves, yep. fins, the whole lot. It's yeah, we've got these uh, Gardena quick releases. 
but you can get an old, uh, an old uh, soda or soft drink bottle and just cut out pieces of plastic and insert them like that and you can just pull it off. But this will well, we'll show you how to do that later, but this is a, an Australian yeah. fitting called a Gardena um, hose yeah. joiner. Um, it's, it joins the hose to the fitting so you can put other couplings on there and eventually uh, they just pull out so when we want to launch this thing we'll have a, uh, a pull string a pull string, and we'll secure the string via this uh, yeah. lovely o-ring sealer and all, all that happens is it'll pull down on that and just release it and the rocket will take off mm. okay so more on this later thank you very much Jason yep and see you next time.